So you know when you see a clip and you see the spot or like homie tells you about a spot, you kind of start like getting all these tricks in mind that like you know you can do or like tricks you want to try. But then you get to the spot and it's kind of gnarlier than you thought. One of the homies Gabe would always call this couch claiming or he'd even call it like a peekaboo spot. Couch claiming kind of goes without being said, just like when you're chilling on your couch looking at clips and you kind of start claiming all the things that you could probably do at the spot. The peekaboo spot is kind of like when you see a spot either driving by on the freeway or like you just see a picture of it and then you get there and the spot's pretty scary. This kind of leads me into today. It's already like 3.45 right now. We only have maybe an hour, maybe two hours of like sunlight. It's not daylight savings yet. So Dowdy and I are just gonna go check out a few spots. Maybe we'll skate something, maybe we won't. The first spot we're gonna go to is this other pole jam spot. I've never been there before. So in my head, I'm just literally expecting like a normal kind of just bent pole, like what you'd see at a grocery store or something. So of course in my head already, I'm like, oh, of course it'll probably be a pretty easy pole jam, just a 50-50. So I have no idea what to expect right now. I haven't seen the picture. I've just heard it's here. So I just pulled up to the parking lot. I haven't gone to find it yet. So today we're gonna claim if the spot is a peekaboo spot or not. So that's the other thing about a spot. If you don't know where it is, it's like trying to find it in the location. Oh my God, is this really the pole jam, dude? Are you serious? This bet, I think this is the pole he's talking about. This thing is so <laughs> gnarly. What the fuck? Oh man, that's definitely not what I was expecting. Oh my goodness, this is scary. So talk about a peekaboo spot right off the bat. Oh my God, that looks terrifying, dude. Oh my God. So I can't wait to get a closer look at this. Like one of those gnarly poles, like the really big cement poles. Oh my God, this is so gnarly. It's higher than waist high. This is not the pole jam I was expecting. Oh my God. Like, look how big this thing is. You can skate this in like a grinding quarter pipe. Oh man, even the like, you're grinding going up. This is gnarly. I thought pole jam, I thought like chill little rail. This is like, it's so big. Mega pole jam. What's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> this... Somebody could go all the way up and then hit the rail behind. Them. That would be so buck. That... To your point, I saw it on video or I saw the photo. It's like, oh, that looks cool. Like, it looks gnarly. I think even it looks gnarly on video, but like now seeing it, it looks intimidating. Right? It, dude, it's high. It's higher than waist high. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, it's a big... Like, if it's not... That <laughs> That's tall. I got my tall boys on. I know. It's not too steep, though. Like, it looks really intimidating, but we'll see what happens when you skate. It's like one of those spots where, like, it looks really scary, but as soon as you skate it, it's either going to be scarier and worse or better. You're not wrong. You know what I mean? Only like, one way to really find. big. The problem with the pole jam that we made recently, where I skated it, and, like, I haven't even done it yet. I just did, like, a couple tries on it and you fall to the left to right, like you have to be right in the center of the floor. Sure, where I this is- Margin for air. Totally. More friendly in that sense. Yeah, like it's gnarly, don't get me wrong. Maybe maybe wax it up, I don't, what do you think? Yeah, maybe. Wait, it goes back to your waxing video. Wax it, everything. Wax it all, <laughs> baby. Uh. Yeah, call me crazy or something, but we're gonna wax it just in case, just cause like, I don't want to like hit it and stick. I'd rather it be like pretty slick, you know? And it's like kind of rusty, so like... Smart, watch Yeah, down here too, just in case. Because I know my trucks are going to hit it. That's true. My so little tires. Yeah. yeah, how do you warm up on a pole jam? Do you just ride it to fakie or do you just do a little wally off the side? Oh, that grinds good up that. Yeah, oh, it's pretty chill. Oh! That was sketch. Easy. I know, front side is feeling scary. It's like, but I like going down the bank. I don't like going up. Is going off yeah. the flat. Going up the flat sounds. sounds kind of, yeah, it seems chill, but this is more fun. Oh, dude, that was it. The melon money. 
Yeah, it is, dude. This shit fucks you up when you land. Oh my god, horrible. Easy. Okay, so we just got to the next spot. It's like this guardrail over here. It's definitely another peekaboo spot. One, you're on the road, so it's kind of gnarly. There's a lot of cars here. And you have to kind of curve into it pretty gnarly. Yeah, it's pretty low, but it's kind of gnarly. I'm not gonna lie. So it's definitely pretty low, but the turn in is gnarly. That's a swerve into this thing. Oh man. Yo, so from this angle, it's like so gnarly. You have to swerve in. It's such an uncomfortable swerving. Like, yeah, you can't even, it's blind going in. It's kind of gnarly. Oh man. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, I a little love tap. Just a, tap. <laughs> a little love tap. I hey. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean it's like I feel like it's hard to see like how gnarly this, this spot, spot is. is Look at this. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. <laughs> okay, so we arrived to the last spot of the day, and I think it's the first spot that's not a peekaboo spot. Like, it's not scary. It's like kind of safe to skate. It looks kind of chill to skate. We're not on the main street. Oh, that readjustment. <laughs> give it that love, give it that love, give it that love. Ooh. Oh, you see the crust falling off. Oh, oh there it go! Oh. That was it. Dude, I knew that one was gonna be it because the way you got into the no slide. Oh, like originally, happened. like you locked straight in. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I landed that. Oh no. my god. Not that. <laughs> Not that. Uh -uh. <laughs> I still not sad. Hey, the speed helped though a little bit. You're not wrong. I think it did. It was not the best. Your boy's getting kind of cooked and it's getting pretty dark outside, but definitely this spot is a win for today. First one, we can actually skate without feeling super sketched out. It's, it's, tall. it's definitely <laughs> tall. It's definitely taller than I thought it was. Like it's definitely like knee high. Like that's actually a knee-high ledge, pretty much. It's tall, and the cracks kind of like, at least for me. They're you have to, I think you have to pop before it, but I was trying to pop like halfway through it and just like kiss the bottom. It was really scary. Just like trying to figure out where to pop, not only the cracks on the ground, but the cracks on the ledge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to like dodge these cracks on top of these cracks. But yeah. It's like cool Whoa, bro, were you seeing the deep end? <laughs> that's another day in the streets. People won't talk about how hard street skating actually is. And that's a day after working, taxing, you know, oh, you're regular right. life. I did my taxes it's not like today. We're like out skating all day. What did we have? Like we had like two hours to skate today, and that was pretty good actually. In that session, I'm surprised we skated this much today. So definitely a win. Just hyped that it's not raining, man. Woo, yeah, no rain, no rain. Have to be the complainers. But no rain. <laughs> it's beautiful out. 